Bible verses that will bring comfort in times of grief or sadness. Psalm 9:9 The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Psalm 18:2 The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. my stronghold Psalm 22:24 For he has not despised or disdained the suffering of the afflicted one he has not hidden his face from him but has listened to his cry for help Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd I shall not be in want He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil my cup overflows surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever Psalm 27 verse 4 to 5 One thing I ask of the Lord this is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple for in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling he will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock Psalm 30 verse 5 Weeping may remain for a night but rejoicing comes in the morning Psalm 34 18 The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 37:39 The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 2 God is our refuge and strength. an ever present help in trouble therefore we will not fear though the earth give away and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea psalm 48:14 for this god is our god forever and ever he will be our guide even to the end psalm 55:22 cast your cares on the lord and he will sustain you he will never let the righteous fall psalm 71:20 to 21 though you have made me see troubles many and bitter you will restore my life again from the depths of the earth you will again bring me up you will increase my honor and comfort me once again psalm 73:26 My flesh and my heart may fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 138:7 Though I walk in the midst of trouble you preserve my life you stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes with your right hand you save me. Proverbs 14:32 When calamity comes the wicked are brought down but even in death the righteous have a refuge Isaiah 25:8 He will swallow up death forever The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces He will remove the disgrace of his people from all the earth The Lord 
has spoken. Isaiah 40 verses 18 to 31 Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 49 verses 14 to 16 But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will never forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. Isaiah 51 verse 3 The Lord will surely comfort Zion and will look with compassion on all her ruins. He will make her deserts like Eden, her wastelands like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the sound of singing. Isaiah 54.10 Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Isaiah 66, verses 12 to 14. For this is what the Lord says, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm, and dandled on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. When you see this, your heart will rejoice, and you will flourish like grass. The hand of the Lord will be made known to his servants, but his fury will be shown to his foes. Lamentations 3 verses 31 to 33 For men are not cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great is his unfailing love, for he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to the children of men. Hosea 13, 14 I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. Where, O death, are your plagues? Where, O grave, is your destruction? Nahum 1, 7 the Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Matthew 5, 4 Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Matthew 6, verses 19 to 34 I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food, and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about those clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, 
and your heavenly father knows that you need them but seek fast his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own Matthew 11:25 to 30 Come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light John 6:39 to 40 And this is the will of him who sent me that I shall lose none of all that he has given me but raise them up at the last day for my father's will is that everyone who looks to the son and believes in him shall have eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day John 14:1 to 4 Do not let your hearts be troubled trust in God trust also in me in my father's house are many rooms if it were not so i would have told you i am going there to prepare a place for you and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where i am you know the way to the place of where i am going John 14:27 Peace I leave with you my peace I give you I do not give to you as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid Romans chapter 8 verses 14 and 15 Because those who are led by the spirit of God are sons of God for you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear but you received the spirit of sonship and by him we cry abba father romans 8 verses 31 to 39 what then shall we say in response to this if god is for us who can be against us he who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things who will bring any charge against those whom god has chosen it is god who justifies who is he that condemns christ jesus who died more than that who was raised to life is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword as it is written for your sake we face death all day long we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered no in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us for i am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus our lord first corinthians chapter 15 verses 52 to 57 in a flash in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet for the trumpet will sound the dead will be raised imperishable and we will be changed for the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality when the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality then the saying that is written will come true death has been swallowed up in victory where o oh, death is your victory where o oh, death is your sting the sting of death is sin 
and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 to 5. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 13 to 16 It is written, I believed, therefore I have spoken. With that same spirit of faith we also believe and therefore speak, because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you in his presence. All this for your benefit so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9-10 to 10. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why for Christ's sake I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 1 Thessalonians 4.13 Brothers, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep or to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. Philippians 4.6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 to 15 Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might destroy him who holds the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. Hebrews 4 verses 14 to 16 Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-9 to nine. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that does not fade away, reserved in the heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom, having not seen, you love. Though now you do not see him, yet believing, 
you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith in the salvation of your souls. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6-7 Humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Revelation 7, 15 to 17. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat upon them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamp at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. <laughs>